the Detroit Pistons are looking to make a resurgence. They are bringing back their teal jerseys as an alternative this season, ladies and gentlemen. The Detroit Pistons are looking to make a comeback, a huge bang. They just announced this uh, earlier today. You know, whenever the teams start to go down roads like this, where they start announcing high-profile jerseys and things of that nature, pardon me, um, it, it's usually they expect us something magical. And when you got guys like, you know, Big Sean getting involved and they're going out to Hollywood, they, they're expecting something massive. And I think they got the pieces, you know, with them drafting Jaden Ivey, with them got, getting Cade Cunningham, you're slowly starting to see the pieces, you know, um, take shape, you know, and this is this is truly going to be a team of the future. You know, them getting Ivy at number five, Cade at number one, you know, and I'm going to get to some of these other players they have on this roster and why the Pistons are looking like the team of the future. You know, um, they will be very competitive. They got some future all-stars on here and some very, very good complimentary pieces that you can really ask for. And um, I want to say they're all young, you know, um, so they all have the ability to grow together. I just love what they've done, you know, with this basketball team, you know, um, everything that they're doing. And for the Detroit Pistons as a team, that's really looked at as a laughing stock. They've had some misses. They drafted Killian Hayes. You know, they got a lot of flexibility, too. I think the Pistons can make a trade as well. They got Burks. They made some moves. Uh, they got Kelly Olenek. They got Corey Joseph. They got contracts that they can maneuver. You know, they even bring in some uh, more better talent. I like the, the move that they did with acquiring Marvin Bagley, getting a disgruntled guy out of Sacramento. You know, all of these guys are, got the chance to really grow together and really be special, you know, and they got a number one option in Kay Cunningham and arguably, you know, you could say a number one option in Jaden Ivey if you want to if you want to say that you don't really know, you know, but Jaden Ivey is a guy that's going to be able to score the basketball. You know, they he wanted to be in Detroit. You know, these guys want to bring back that culture of the bad boys and of being a piston. You know, this is this is the team they have to make up, you know, to do it. So I'm I'm very excited for what this team has. We we all know the 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 throwback days with the Detroit Pistons when they had the teal jerseys, of course the Grant Hill and everything with the Isaiah Thomas and, and, and those days, you know. Can Detroit bring those guys back, you know, um, bring that energy? I like Sadiq Day. I like the kid. They got Isaiah Stewart. I think Isaiah Stewart is a guy who could be that driving engine. You know, he's got that ferociousness. You've seen what he did when he got into that scuffle with LeBron James. You know, things got very physical. I think I think that guy, he, he's a talent, you know. All, all, all of these guys are all these guys are a true talent. You know, um, the future is bright. I want to know, I'm going to get to the Eastern Conference right now, you know, because the Eastern Conference, they have some some ways of, of going before they even can really get in the thick of things. But I want to tell you guys, why can't they be competitive in this Eastern Conference? We're going to get to the Eastern Conference standards right now because this is, this is, this is um, very important. Because you got the New York Knicks, you have teams like the Charlotte Hornets, you know, um, a lot of teams that didn't make the the postseason, you know, and they're going to be competing with them, you know, so that, that's something that we got we to gotta hold into consideration, you know, can they leapfrog some of these teams to get into that top eight seed, are they a playing seed? You know, I think the Pistons, they, they're a few years away, but they got the pieces, you can't expect them to just leapfrog. I think they're obviously a little further ahead than the Orlando Magic. I, th I th think they got the right pieces. I think they're a little further along in their development. Are they better than Indiana? They made some moves. You know, they let go of Brogdon. You know, um, are they better than Washington? I don't know. You know, the Knicks. See, that, these are the questions you got to ask yourself if you're a Pistons fan. Are you better than Indiana? Are you better than Washington? Are you better than New York? you know, or Charlotte, you know, they, those are the teams that are fighting to get into the postseason. You got to ask yourself, are, are you going to be better than these teams? The Knicks are further along in their development 
than Detroit. Um, I think the Pacers, I think you could probably leapfrog the Pacers if you do well. They got phenomenal coaching, but so do you. You got my man um, Dwayne Casey. Come on, he, he should be able to do big things out there. You know, so, but but then when you see, it still gets problematic, you know, then you got the Cavaliers at nine, you know, so th this thing could really go a multitude of different directions, you know, for the Detroit Pistons. But if you're a Pistons fan, I know you got to feel very confident, you know, in, in your Pistons. You know, the, the Pistons haven't looked any better than they've ever been. You know, they're clearly bad. I don't think the Pistons have been this good since... You know, this exciting since the, the days of when they had Chauncey in them. Obviously, they had some good seasons with um with Blake Griffin and Reggie Jackson. And, you know, but, they, you know, there wasn't no, no real direction of hope. You clearly see something. Even though they may, uh, may not be a playoff seed this year or even the next, you clearly see the direction. You know, you see the, the pieces in place and you see what's happening. Is Dwayne Casey the guy for the job? I don't know. I can't tell you that. You know, I think that's going to be a question that we all could, could ask ourselves. But nonetheless, man, the Pistons, they're definitely a great team for the future. And I'm I'm, ecstatic, I'm ecstatic that they're doing this. I love when they bring back throwback jerseys and things of that nature. It lets me know that, that the Pistons are looking to to become popular again. You know, the Pistons have been a dormant franchise. You know, nobody really having much Detroit Piston pride. You know, um, I expect a lot more Pistons fans either to be developed or to come out the woodworks now because the Pistons have something that the city and, and the fan base around the world, because it's an iconic brand. This is the Detroit Pistons, you know. They just got to get back to how it was, you know. And I think you're going to see the Piston pride reigns supreme again around the world. You know, um, the bad boys, hopefully they'll be back. They got to play physical. They got to play defense. I think Dwayne Casey is, is up for the task. Um, I don't know if he's just a bridge coach because remember, I don't know if he's the, but he's done a lot of good things. I like how he's been present with them throughout. I think they went to the playoff game or the finals, the whole team. So Dwayne Casey has been an active coach, even though he has a young team, even though I would love Dwayne Casey to coach a team that's like a more well-oiled machine. Like I would have loved if Dwayne Casey could have coached the Los Angeles Lakers or something like that. You know, I think Casey needs to be coaching a team that's more further along and to closer to a championship because I think that's what Casey was doing when he was in Toronto. But, you know, we all know what happened with that. We, we're going to save that for another day. But I'm going to leave it right there, man. The Detroit Pistons are bringing back their throwback jerseys. You know, uh, the, the Pistons are looking to bring the bad boys back. You know, and with them going back to these teal jerseys will be very reminiscent. You know, you obviously see Jaden Ivey sporting it. You see Cade, you know, Big Sean has been rocking it. It's the return of the teal. It's Flight Sports TV. Shout out to all my Pistons fans around the world. You already know what it is.